A multi-purpose unmanned armed helicopter is on its way. According to reports from the official media of the Southern Theater Command, Meb Bingtao, a female UAV pilot from a naval aviation regiment, is undergoing training for a new type of carrier-based unmanned aircraft. She began training on the new unmanned aircraft last year, and after passing her solo test, she will become the regiment's second female UAV pilot. This carrier-based unmanned aircraft, capable of deck takeoff and landing control, is likely the previously unveiled carrier-based unmanned helicopter that will be deployed on the Type 075 amphibious assault ship. The future armed helicopters on the Type 075 amphibious assault ship are likely to be unmanned models. Recently, at the 2024 European International Defense Exhibition in Paris, NORINCO showcased the Z-6B unmanned helicopter. This helicopter, characterized by low cost and multi-purpose, has attracted attention from defense analysts in the US, Australia, and other countries. Compared to traditional UAVs, unmanned helicopters offer flexible takeoff and landing, convenient launch and recovery, good maneuverability, and vertical hovering capabilities, while also possessing some of the traditional UAV functions. The Z-6B General Purpose Unmanned Helicopter showcased at the European International Defense Exhibition. It was developed by China Rongtong's 60th Research Institute in Nanjing. Although it has appeared at several domestic UAV exhibitions, it seems to have garnered more interest in the civilian sector rather than the military. Due to this focus, information on this aircraft is scarce. The Z-6B uses a conventional single rotor and single tail rotor design unlike the more common quadcopter or hexacopter designs. This conventional design avoids several issues associated with new technologies and platforms, accelerating the equipment's deployment and use. Although traditional in layout, the Z-6B's aerodynamic design includes stealth considerations, with an angular fuselage to effectively reflect radar waves, enhancing its survivability in low- and ultra-low-altitude combat environments. The Z-6B has also developed a carrier-based version, the Z-6B-H, with a maximum takeoff wave of 1700 k and a maximum payload of 500 kg. Reports indicate that the Z-6B can perform various missions, including electronic warfare, supply delivery, battlefield reconnaissance, and integrated attack and reconnaissance. The most notable feature is its integrated reconnaissance and attack capability, with a multispectral optical turret under the nose for reconnaissance. The attack capability is not yet visible as the current version lacks short wings for mounting weapons, but adding these would enable the integrated attack and reconnaissance function. The Z-6B helicopter's propulsion system is battery and electric motor based, but if exported, it might be equipped with a heavy fuel engine using diesel or aviation kerosene. Rand Corporation's senior defense analyst, Heath, commented that the Z-6B has stealth capabilities and advanced optical sensors, with advantages in electronic warfare and firepower. The Z-6B's it has greater payload capacity, higher operational ceiling, and longer endurance, indicating its advanced technology. China exported over 280 military UAVs in the past decade, mainly to the Middle East, North Africa, and South Asia. Chinese military unmanned helicopters have also seen breakthroughs in recent years.
In 2021, an anonymous UAE official stated that the UAE would purchase 10 to 15 CR-500 Golden Eagle unmanned helicopters worth about $9 million. In 2023, Nigeria showcased the Chinese-imported AR-500B carrier-based unmanned helicopter, which will be used with the Chinese-imported P-18N offshore patrol vessel. Chinese military UAVs are technologically on par with Western counterparts and offer lower procurement, operation, and maintenance costs, providing advantages in cost efficiency and technological efficiency. Users from the Middle East, North Africa, and South Asia generally have positive evaluations of Chinese military UAVs, increasing their market share. With these foundations, the Z-6B and other Chinese export unmanned helicopters will likely have significant export potential, impacting the Western unmanned helicopter market share. 